I don't, I wouldn't wish hell on my worst enemy. And that's what I'm trying, that's the whole reason why I'm trying to tell this the world. Is <laughs> because there is no truly hell. And it's so horrible. And I don't want anyone to go if you don't believe in God. Oh, please ask Jesus into your heart and save you. If you do know God, oh, repent right now. Ask for forgiveness. You never know when you're going to die. You never know when Jesus is going to come. You never know. And it was then that it got hotter and hotter and hotter. And I, I like my teeth were just gnashing. They were gnashing and I could feel like my teeth just breaking over and over. And your, your jaw's locked and you're screaming in your mind. There's no water. There's no water. You're, you feel, you feel as if your mouth is dry or your soul's dry. Your soul's so dry. If only I just had a drop of water. If only I just have a drop of water on my tongue, I would feel some kind of relief. It was then that all of a sudden the scre the screaming continued. There's just constant crying, constant misery. You think about it, the time you cry, like the worst pain you've ever felt in your heart, like like emotional pain. You're crying and heaving a billion times worse. When I say a billion times worse, I really mean it's a billion times worse than any negative thing. Every negative thing you've ever felt in your whole life, you will feel it feel in hell and you will feel it a billion times, and you will feel it forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. She's my mama, and I could, my mama is a, she's a prayer warrior, and uh, she's been praying for me all these years to get out of this lifestyle, and to get out away from drugs, and it was like, when I was in hell, I could hear her, oh, Lisa, I wish you would listen and just come back to Jesus, and that's when all of a sudden, I said, I wish I would have listened. And all of a sudden my body set on fire. My soul set on fire. And um, when my soul set on fire, it was so much hotter. Cause I used to have, I used to have problems like cutting and burning myself because I hate myself. I know like, I know burns and stuff and there is nothing like your soul being on fire. It hurts so bad. Like you're just, it's, it's not, you can't even explain it. You can't even explain it. There is no way to explain the torture. Like I could hear myself screaming in my head. Oh, the thoughts were like, like if you put some headphones on or whatever and you're in your, in your ears and you were to like scream as loud as you can. It's like a billion times louder than that is what your thoughts. You're, you're, you're alone in your thoughts. You're alone in your sins. It's replaying over and over on top of fear, on top of hopelessness, on top of fire, hotter than you can ever imagine. So there's wishing, you know, the fear, the hope, hopelessness, everything. All of a sudden, I was just like, Jesus, 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 help me, Jesus. Jesus, save me. As I cried out to Jesus, immediately I was ripped from those flames and all of a sudden I was in an ambulance, like still felt on fire. And I was screaming in the ambulance. I looked and I saw a, a, a paramedic. Didn't really know where I was at or what was going on. I was very confused, but I saw the kindness in her eyes and realized all of a sudden like, wait a minute, I'm not in hell anymore. <laughs> she was like, you, she was like, you're not on fire. She was like, you're not, you're not on fire. And she was like, you're okay, honey. And I was like, please, please, please. I don't want to go back there. Jesus, please don't let me go back there. Jesus, please forgive me of all my sins. Jesus, I don't want to go back there. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The look on her face, if, if I could have like, if I could really like, it was like a, like the, her eyes are really big. And it was kind of like, she's just staring at me like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if she's ever seen anything like that before, but the reason, the reason why, you know, I've got to tell you the reason why I am speaking about my testimony is because I am a living, walking, breathing testimony of God's amazing grace 